I will call the meeting at 5.24 p.m. For the roll call, Eli? Eli's here. David? Here. Lee? Yes. Sandra? Here. David? Yes. Kendall? Here. And Jeanette? And um, Sherry Downing is here. Oh, oh, Sherry Downing is here to watch the meeting? Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, thanks everybody for waiting and thanks Eli and David for helping out. Uh, I know we're supposed to start at five, but there was absolutely nothing we could do. So uh, I'm going to start the meeting. We have to be organized. First thing we have to do is we have to vote in a chairman. Do I have any nominations? Yes, sir. Okay, Sandra Coleman nominated next to it. Seconded by KB Hughes. Any discussion? Um, I have to have a roll call because Eli's on Zoom. Eli? Eli votes yes. David? Aye. Aye. Sandra? Hi. No. David? Blue? Yes. KB? Yes. Dr. Lindsay? Okay, now we have to vote in a vice chair. Do I have any nominations? David Wolf. All right, I'll second that. Is there any discussion? Okay, we're going to have to do this for the roll call. Eli? Aye. David? Aye. May? Aye. David Brown? Yes. Sandra Coleman? Yes. yes. And KB Hughes? Yes. Okay, so we have chairman and vice chairman now. That was the main reason I met tonight, but also if you have anything you want to go over, just let me know. Uh, we were kind of gabbing back and forth before the meeting. We didn't vote on anything, but we were gabbing about things. Uh, Lee? I would like to ask you if you have been paid for your time of putting together the rest of the uh, uh, budget for the uh, voters and being at the uh, I don't I don't get paid extra for that. I don't get paid for that, believe it or not, because being deputy town clerk tax collector, I get a stipend, which is a thousand a year. But from the amount of hours that I've put in and everything, I I more than used to that. Then you didn't get paid for that? No, I just it was a stipend for the year and that's never been paid very. Really. That's what? The deputy town clerk has never been paid separately to be at a um, town for voting. I think the reason that Lee is saying that, Sandra, is because of the, it was an unusual situation with taxi not being there. I put in a lot of extra hours and I had to do a lot of extra work. And I think that's what Lee is saying. Yeah, because it's not showing on the budget figures. It's not showing at all that you got any kind of money. I didn't. I get paid at the end of the year, but as I said, the hours that I have put in with Kathy being out and everything that I've had to do, I have more than you have that now. Not right. The question, Eli, the ribbons on the poles on Main Street. Yep. What are those for? Those are poles that need to be moved uh, when we do the sidewalk. 
starting in May. You say they've got to be moved? They've got to be moved, yes. Okay. Obviously, you can't move them toward the road, so you're going to put them on private property? And who's that going would be a better question for Craig than me. And who's going to get the easements? The easements, of, easements have been gotten. I am not... Um, that's something we can bring up at the next um, work meeting with GMI and the engineers. They've been handling this. And who's going to pay to move the, the bill for the poles? Is that going to be electric department or is that coming no, out? This is, I believe that's coming out of the monies that we get from the state. I don't personally I don't see where it's fair. The ratepayers of the town of Ashland move those poles. That's what was going to happen up on Thompson Street. Lee, the best thing to do with that, because it's really not the budget, the best thing to do with that. To do with everybody in this town but the best thing to do is go into the town office and you know, talk with the uh, the town manager. Oh, I'll go to meeting. But I do believe it's part of what we are, what the state is paying for. Any other questions? Oh, I'm just wondering when the new town manager is. I didn't even know we had a new town manager. Oh, it's a new old one. A new old one. <laughs> Very well, Oh, yeah? yeah. Oh, I did not know that. When was that decision made? It was announced last week. Oh, okay. Yeah. Eli, when will the two, new town manager be starting? That hasn't been decided yet. Uh, he's working out his... Uh, when he leaves the other, his other position. And when is that? Where is he now? When is he supposed to leave his other position? Do you know? Uh, he was going to give a 30 day notice. Okay. So where is he working now? Hampton. Hampton. So what is he moving back up this area? I believe he is. Well, we don't really need the town manager. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's. Yeah, you know. In a while, so. <laughs> And he probably wouldn't be able to answer any of the questions that we needed. Not right this minute. <laughs> and even when he's town manager, it's going to take a while for him to get used to the budget and everything like, you know, and, and know what's going on. So I'm not sure that that's going to be of any help to us. I was just curious. Yeah. Are you going to stay in there in the medium? I didn't hear the question. Is Fran going to stay there in the medium? Um, he will. That has not been well. That has not been. Uh, I decided he will need a little bit of help finding out where we've hidden things. Is that kind of like an Easter egg hunt? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like an yes. It's almost like an Easter egg hunt. We haven't found every everything that Charlie filed. Um, with you being the representative uh, for the department, I know I know you don't like to answer the questions because the department are here. Would would you be able to help us at all if we have another meeting and have some questions about the budget? Would you be able to um, help the us? End, uh, to anticipate the end of your question, I will do what I can. Okay. Okay. Because I know before you didn't really want to, but this time we have no one else. Uh, well, last time we had a town manager that was sitting there. Right. Okay, that's, that's and, right, because if we're going to have another meeting, we will need someone to answer some of the questions. Um, 
And once again, if I can't answer the question, okay. I will find out the answer. Okay. Okay, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, Sandra? I have a suggestion. Uh, I, I believe that all the department heads would be able to come before us and answer the question. I, you know, I've talked to them personally and um, I believe we were misinformed that, you know, um, they did not want to come to the budget meeting, you know, when we were setting it up. They were told not to come. And, um, and I talked personally, I mean, it's hearsay to you, but I've talked to them personally. And um, in the past years, they've welcomed coming to the budget meeting. And um, and maybe with a um, a request, you know, from our chair, you know, to, to come before us. I, I think that they would welcome. Um, I had talked to them too, and you're absolutely right, Sandra. They really wanted to come to us. Mm -hmm. They really did. They were so no, not so. We really wanted um, to talk to them. So. Now, how does everybody feel about? Talking with the department heads and seeing what's going on with the department. Good. Yeah. I'm all for Okay. Um, is there any particular night? I try to stay away from Friday. I know we had leave before, which I tried not to do. But no, Thursday night is the one that's really all for me. Okay. Lee, no Thursday. David, is there any particular night that's not good for you? I can make evenings work. Okay. Um, Monday's a Wednesday. Now, suppose we were to decide to maybe, if you said Monday and Wednesday is not good and let's do it early, what if we had it like at, at 3 o'clock? We said that before. Well, yeah, I can't do that consistently. No, make exceptions no I'm just people. saying Monday and Wednesdays are not good for him unless right. we have it early. And right. I'm not saying we have to have it kept there. Right. I'm just saying now and then, could you do that? Uh, occasionally. Yeah. Okay. I just okay. don't want to do it all the time. Okay, Friday is fine with me. I don't care. What does Tuesday? Friday's again. See, Tuesday's not good for you. Well, it's not good for anybody who's going to the school board. It's uh, just the first, the first Tuesday. Tuesday. If you avoid the first Tuesday, historical society board. It's the third Tuesday. Yeah, yeah, so we, we haven't had it lately. Well, we'll probably have it. Next so half the Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I can I can do five step only. Okay. And six is better because I get done at five typically. Three is just the one that I really, you know, it'll be occasionally. Okay. Always kind of, but I can do Fridays as well. Okay, let's look at the second Tuesday in May. Is that what it is, David? Yeah. Well, Eli, <laughs> um, how about Tuesday the 11th? Does that look good for you? Tuesday the 11th? Same time. Are you okay with five, David, or would you rather I change it? Okay. Yeah, with enough notice, I just I won't schedule anything to that time. So. Okay. Five o'clock on the eleventh. How is that with everybody? Um let me check with uh to see if the if the room is going to be used by somebody else then. And I'll get back to you tomorrow morning. Do you want to check or you want me to? I will. I've got to go in tomorrow morning anyway. Can you do me a favor after you find out? Will you call me on my cell phone? Sure. Okay. So unless we hear otherwise, we'll plan on five o'clock on the 11th on that Tuesday. Okay? Now. The other question I have, do you want me to ask one of the department heads or a couple of the department heads to come in that room? Let me ask a question. That's what I'm wondering. Yeah, I would think we'd like we'd them all. Questions first. 
you want to come up with questions at home before this meeting, or I would do you want to might... wait and do it at yeah. the meeting on the 11th, and then after that we can do it? Probably, yeah. yeah. That way we're not surprising them with, you know, okay. worry of questions. Yeah. Or have them come in and ask more questions. <laughs> I, I, I don't want them to come in and not ask questions. So let's just we'll hold off until our 11th meeting, and then we'll plan a meeting where we could probably have two departments in one night. I also wonder if, because the water is through in the electric now, the way that it is, I wonder if. Maybe someone from the electric and maybe someone from water and sewer could also come and, and talk with us. You got, you got nobody with electric. You got an apprentice and you got a utility sport, period. Unless they, unless they fired somebody very recently. How many do you have working for you for the electric department, Eli? From you. You're on mute. Oh, good. I'm off mute now. But exactly what Lee said, uh, the person that would be answering the question would be Craig Moore. Okay. So maybe then when, when Craig comes to do the, um, the highway department, we could also ask him questions then about the electric. Now, who would be answering the questions for the water and sewer? Okay. Well, Rusty Cross. Okay. I just want to make sure he knows. Yep. We're going to have department heads. We might as well include them all. Like the Dale Water and Sewer. Is that okay with everybody? Do you agree with that? They're a franchise, but I'm sure they'd welcome. Okay. Because um, it seems like before, when we had questions with the electric and the water and sewer, they were kind of confused. We didn't really get some answers to some of the questions that we needed. So, are we planning on having them here at different times or all? We'll have like maybe two okay, a night. Sure. Two a night. Um, I think three a night would be too many. We want to give them at least a half hour each. You know, and it might take longer if you know we decide we have other things we want to go over with. But I think that the, the budget committee was very disappointed in the fact that they couldn't meet with us before. Because I know KD's been on the budget committee before, and every single year we've always had the department heads here. We've, that's right. We've always been able to ask some questions because they're, they're telling us like it is because they're working right with the budget. Uh, with the town manager telling us, kind of like his impression on us. So, yeah. Kind of, not much. Wait. I just have one more question for you. You can ask any question. No, I don't say any. <laughs> yeah. Um, yep. When Charlie was here, he was talking about hiring another assistant to help him. Is that yes. Just, that That's in process. Because I'm hearing an awful lot of complaints. Because the bills are running. Better than a month behind. Oh, yeah, I can, I'll vouch for that. They're, yeah, uh, they're bad. Yeah, there's there's not, an awful lot of complaints about that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm probably uh, that. That, yeah. that position has been av advertised. Where, where has it been advertised? I'm sorry, Lee. Where has it been advertised? I would imagine the Laconia Sun. Um, I'd have to ask Catherine. Well, isn't Diane also helping in? The NHMA site, I understand that it was posted there too. Isn't Diane also helping in? She's scheduled to, yes. As another question, as the uh, building went out to 
The cable companies were riddled for the 2000 year, 2020. What'd you say, Lee? As the billing went out to the cable companies for the rental on the poles. I don't know. I will check on that tomorrow morning. Because I do not believe it was done in 19. And I'm wondering if it was done in 18. I will uh, I will check tomorrow morning. One more question for you. Okay. Certified letters, return receipt, and all that going down in the PUC yet about that full one went on the road. I talked to you on voting day about. I'll have to check on that. Excuse me, am I allowed to ask a question? Uh, yes, you are, sir. Go ahead. Um, what is the um, wage or salary for the new town manager, please? The, the one that's coming on, uh, Sherry, the one that's going to be taking... Uh, yes, the one that's taking Charlie's place. Eli is going to have to answer that. That is still sealed information. But as, as soon as the decision is made and you have decided how much he's going to get paid, the public knows. I mean, the public has a right. Let me put it this way. It has not totally been decided. Okay. That's what I needed to know. Does that answer your question, Sherry? Well, yes, kind of. I'm assuming we'll be paying um, a person with more experience and that knows the town a little better, probably a bigger wage. And I was just curious what that was. Did, uh, did you understand what Eli said? Yes, thank you. Okay. Uh, hopefully in, the, you know, in a couple of weeks, uh, he will have an answer. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. thank you. You're welcome, sir. Is there anything else? I've got more of our left here, Bobby. Okay. okay, so unless Eli gets back to me tomorrow and tells me otherwise, we will plan on having the next meeting on the 11th five o'clock in the water and sewer. Okay? And here at the water and sewer. All right? Okay. There being no further questions, I'm gonna adjourn the meeting at five forty seven.